Hello everyone! For those who are new here, my name is Courtney and I make lifestyle, travel, fashion, and theme park related videos here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the items that I take with me into the Disney parks, specifically what's in my park bag. Um, all items mentioned in this video are not sponsored, they're just items that I truly enjoy and wanted to share them with all of you planning your upcoming va Disney vacation. So without further ado, let's get into the video. For this video, I'm going to be using my Lilo & Stitch um, Lounge Flight Disney Backpack. Um, I really like this bag, I think it's really cute, especially for the summertime. It does have a front pocket, two side pockets, and a really big interior. We're actually going to start off with the front pocket here. I usually keep um, like hand sanitizer, chapstick, um, either gum or like a mint, something of that sort, as well as my magic band. So this magic band is actually um, the Princess Leia. The Future of the Galaxy is Female Magic Band. Um, and I got like a little Ewok sticker from Etsy and just put on the puck. So that's what I have in my front pocket. And then next, um, right on top, I always keep a claw clip. I actually have um, really curly hair and especially in the Florida humidity, it can get crazy and I just have to make sure it's off my neck that I'm cooled off. So this is pretty great. Um, I, I think I got this on Amazon like in a pack of three. So. Um, they're fairly cheap. Also have sunglasses, especially in that Florida sun. I make sure those are right on top so I'm able to get them. They're usually on my face like the whole day, um, but just in case I have them there. And then also on the weather topic, um, I do have a tiny umbrella. So I think this actually was a gift um, I got a few years ago and it's held up in the Florida with the high winds hurricane season really well actually. Um, it's by the brand Totes, but it's just a tiny umbrella. Um, I like that it has the wrist strap as well as the button you can um, press and it pops open automatically. And then I have a portable fan. So on that Florida heat, it can get pretty brutal. Um, so I always make sure that I have my fan with me. This one's from Amazon. And also has a flashlight on the bottom. Like I usually use my phone if I need, but it's nice to know that I have this option just in case. If you don't have a fan, I would recommend the cooling towels. Um, I'll link below and um, a couple of Amazon ones I've used in the past, but uh, yeah, it's really important to have one of these with you. And then this may not apply to everyone else, um, but I like to record memories. Before starting YouTube, I was always record family trips and um, new experiences that I would be on just to be able to look back and see um, for memory purposes. So I actually have a little tripod here. This is from Manfrotto and I attached um, a little wrist strap to it. Um, it has attachments that I can connect my GoPro, my camera that I'm using now, as well as my cell phone. Um, so I really like this. So in the back pocket here, I actually keep um, a poncho. So I get these ponchos in bulk at like the dollar store, but you can pretty much get them anywhere, your grocery store, department store. Um, and yeah, I always make sure to grab at least like five or six every time I'm there. I cannot recommend this enough. If you are not bringing an umbrella, I would bring a poncho with you even if the weather is showing no clouds, sunny weather. I think it's so important to bring a poncho with you. Um, there was one time and I learned my lesson ever since. We went, I went to Universal Studios and not a drop of rain was in the forecast. And um, it rained, complete downpour. I was trying to wait it out and finally I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to have to buy a poncho. It is what it is. And the ponchos there are like $15. <laughs> I bought the poncho. I'm not kidding. Two seconds after I put the poncho on, I don't know what I was doing, like adjusting or whatever, I ripped the seam under the arm and it, it completely ripped off. I was so disappointed in myself. So that's my only recommendation. Like, um, they might have nice logos on them and look really pretty and like even though they're, it's a thicker material, you think you're having a high quality item, like it just wasn't working out for me. So I recommend these. Um, and they do have them in like one size fits all. That's this one. They have adult children ponchos. Um, and yeah, I got this from the dollar store. You can get them pretty much anywhere. And then um, I also have a portable battery with me. Especially now going to Disney, you're on your phone the entire day. Whether that's making um, individual lightning lane passes, Genie Plus, mobile ordering food, checking in for your reservation. You know, the park map is on there. You're able to check like uh, ride wait times. Like the list can go on and on. Um, but I have, um, this one's by the brand Anchor. I've had this for several years and it's actually charged my phone. I think I charged it like four times one day I had to. And only like one out of the four lights on the battery were down. 
Um, and I, again, I've had this for several years and it's kept up for a really long time. So um, again, cannot recommend this one enough. Um, I th it is pretty pricey, um, but you're paying for the quality. And I made that mistake in the past, buying like, these cheap ones um, that haven't held up uh, over time. So yeah, portable battery. And then we're nearing the end actually. So in my park bag, I always have this pouch that is what I call, you never know what's going to happen. And maybe that's just the Girl Scout in me and things that have happened over the past couple trips. Um, so anything you can imagine, it's like my Mary Poppins bag. Um, and this bag actually I really like, it's from Amy Small World on Etsy, I'll link the shop below. Um, it's like this plastic vinyl material that it, you can wipe it, things out easily. Um, I've thrown it in the wash actually and like hand washed it and it's held up really well. I used to use like canvas zipper pouches or like those uh, mesh material pouches. Yeah, so um, I really enjoy this pouch. Um, so right on top I actually have my AirPods. There's a lot of people in the theme park. A lot of screaming kids, people arguing. There's just tons of traffic going around that sometimes it can be sensory overload and you just need a second to just like step back and tune in with yourself. So I actually bring these. Sometimes I don't even have anything playing. I just have them in my ears just to kind of tune out the world. So um, any headphone, wired headphones, wireless, um, I would recommend. As well as a dry pair of socks. <laughs> so I've made this mistake in the past. Um, you're wearing your socks, whether it's raining or you know you're getting sweaty and like things are moving around in, in your shoe, like it can get pretty yucky. Um, so I always pack a dry pair of socks, and I actually really like these socks. I can't think of the brand, but I'll link them below. They actually came in a pack of either like seven or eight, and these are really nice because they have um, they're pretty thick, so you um, are secure in your shoe and you're not sliding around anywhere. And they also have like this little tab in the back. Um, that covers the back of your foot so your shoe isn't rubbing against the back. I um, used to have that issue and like it would apply band-aids, things like that. So since I've gotten these, um, my honestly, my world has changed and I cannot recommend them enough. So I have those. Um, I'm just going to start pulling things out here. So I have, um, this was just the only um, sunblock that was available at the time. This is the Copper Tone Sport uh, 50. And I actually liked it because it was water resistant and it like, stays on with sweat, especially in the summer weather in Florida. Um, so yeah, I just have a trial size of this. Um, and I didn't mention this before, but everything basically that I have in this bag, I bring refills with me in my suitcase. So um, any of the smaller items, like I'll have a Ziploc bag in my suitcase to refill and replenish this um, if needed. So I actually have the sunscreen in this bag as well as in my suitcase. So I have sunscreen deodorant, you, you know, you're getting smelly throughout the day. Um, and then this is called Chub Rub. This is like an anti chafe stick. I know like Gold Bond makes one. Um, this is just, I got this in a pack of two on Amazon. And um, it's worked fairly well. As you can see, it's it's been used. <laughs> um, and yeah, you, you're walking around the park. You're rubbing in places that you didn't even think you knew would be having friction or anything like that. And like, I learned that. So uh, this has been a great um, product for me. And uh, yeah, it's just coconut oil, shea butter, and aloe. And yeah, I, I like it. So for anyone who uh, needs that. Um, I'm a contacts wearer. So I actually have like these re-wetting uh, re drops by OptiFree. Um, wearing my contacts throughout the entire day of the park. I'm usually a rope drop to park close type of gal. So um, these are great when I need to just refresh in my eyes from wearing contacts all day. Um, okay, so um, I have like blister bandages. This is like the Dr. Fredericks. Um, it's like a variety pack. They're, like there's small ones and large ones in here. So again, like I have one in this bag and then I bring one in my suitcase. And these are actually just if I'm starting to get a blister. I do other things to try and prevent blisters, but if one does happen to sneak up on me, I do use, use these and they've been great so far. Um, so again, Dr. Fredericks. And then the preventative, I actually use um, moleskin. So it, um, it's like that. I actually used to use it in like dance and sports and things like that. And um, I heard great things about using it in the parks. So um, I, it comes in like a big roll. This is, at, um, I think the Dr. Scholl's moleskin comes in this big roll that you just like cut up in strips and it's like adhesive so um, I'll cut up like small pieces that I'll put on like before I go to the parks and then I'll bring a couple just in case I need to fix anything um, going on. 
But so I always have mole skin strips. Um, so I do have hand sanitizers as shown before in my front pocket of my bag. Um, but I do have like these hand sanitizing wipes, mostly for like surfaces. Um, I used to bring like that wet wipes a sleeve in my bag. It's like an inch thick. It would take up room, so I decided to go with the individual packs, um, and I enjoy them. I got them like a, a pack of twelve, I think. And I'll link it below. So I'm not a huge fan of makeup wipes in general. I like using like a cleansing balm, um, just because it's not as harsh on the skin. Using that in a women's restroom, I don't think. I feel like I would get some weird stares, <laughs> so I just use the the wipes. Um, it has some tissues. These are actually just like Princess Leia Kleenex tissues. Um, for my ladies, I have an always like refreshing wipe. Um, again, like you just never know. Some feminine products, you never know. <laughs> um, I have a tie to go stick. Especially, this has been really handy in those um, Epcot festivals when you're trying all the food booths and things like that. So for an Ulta, you get like the free freebie items when you order. I always try and get the um, little mini perfumes, like the samples, because I bring them to the parks in May, because if you're sweating all day and you just want to refresh it up. Um, so this one has to be a Dior, Miss Dior. It smells good, um, so I have that for this one. Then um, I am a big li liquid IV or um, any type of electrolyte powder um, person. Um, I've actually just started using the True Lemon, which is like a, just a crystallized lemon, just to reduce the sugar content, um, just because Liquid Ivy is, has a lot of sugar in it. Um, but yeah, I try and bring these with me into the parks. Um, again, like you are sweating throughout the day, um, and it can catch up on you. It's caught up on me a couple times, so I always make sure I have something like that in my bag. Um, ibuprofen. And then this little pouch kind of looks a little questionable, but... Um, I actually have like migraine medicine, motion sickness medicine, like gas X, Midol, anything you can think of um, in this little bag here just to make sure I'm prepared. Um, hair scrunchie. And then, <laughs> this is kind of a little, a little embarrassing. I'm only in my 20s, right? I carry around Bengay with me. It's basically the lidocaine like cream. Um, it has a good scent. This is a tropical jasmine scent. Maximum strength. I have horrible knees, like horrible knees. They're constantly clicking, like had surgery. Like this thing is honestly a lifesaver if you've any sort of like ailment wrong with you. Um, and I apply this several times throughout the park day, especially that I'm there like open to close. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoy Bengay. It works pretty well. Um, and lastly, the parks have been pretty good about this actually in the past couple of years, like supplying them um, hot sauce and like red pepper flake packets. Um, I put hot sauce on everything. I'm like a connoisseur. <laughs> so just in case I'm in some place or a restaurant um, that doesn't supply that, I always bring like either a little packet or a bottle of hot sauce. Um, I'm gonna have this Tabasco one here. And yeah, that's everything that's in this little bag and everything that I keep inside my bag. So one thing I actually just wanted to mention, uh, I'm not using it on this trip, these next two trips, because it's gonna be fairly hot. Um, but when I'm going later this year, um, and when it starts to get a little colder, um, you may not realize, but Florida actually has like a colder season. And um, this is actually a windbreaker that you can fold up and put in this little drawstring bag. And I actually will put this in my park bag um, if needed. So yeah, it comes in this little bag, and it's a windbreaker. This is also from Amazon. And um, it's fairly thin, has a hood with a drawstring here as well as the drawstring on the bottom to cinch it and it's a zipper windbreaker and um, I've had to use this multiple times especially when the sun goes down and yeah I just wanted to mention that I really like that and then everything that I keep um, outside on the exterior of my bag I'm gonna mention so sometimes I don't want to wear my ears the entire day um, so I actually have this keychain here that will clip onto the bag and it'll hold my ears and this is also from Etsy and you just go like this, and just clip it right to your bag, and it holds your ears. So um, I'll link this shop below. I really like that because um, sometimes when you put them inside your bag, they get crushed, and it's not, it's not a good time. I'm a big new email gal. It's maybe a little childish, but I really enjoy them. So new emails are basically like posable, posable plushes. 
Um, and I have a mini one here, and I have her in an outfit that um, I actually got on Etsy. I will clip um, this to my bag. So it has like this little clasp here. Again, I'll do a close up. And it's basically this beaded necklace that you put around the new email neck, and you can clip it to the bag. Um, so I've used this on several trips. The only thing that I have a like complaint about is that you're spending all this money on a new email. So it's like that. So the only complaint I have is that you're spending all this money on a new email and like most of the day your bag is on your back. So like I wasn't seeing it as much only when I was taking it off. So I just recently picked this up from Etsy as well. Um, it's this little like belt that goes around the new email and you clip it to your backpack strap. So like it's kind of like a, a camera tripod in a way, like if you're clipping it to your backpack, but it's in the front. So I'm going to try that out this upcoming trip that I have and uh, I'll let you guys know how I like it. Um, I just wanted like another option just so I can see it more. But yeah, that's everything I take with me into my Disney park bag. Um, again, all items will be mentioned in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Let me know the top three items that you would take with you into the Disney parks. I'm always looking for um, new items, new things that maybe I haven't been able to check out, so definitely let me know below. I think for me, it would be umbrella slash poncho, portable battery, and a fan. Not fun items, but I know like I'll be set if I have all three of those items with me. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for weekly content. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!